Hello and welcome to my painting tutorial on how to do some basic stencil work. This is what we're gonna start off with. A primer jerk paint body that I've been using a lot lately. As you can see here I've already painted the belly as yellow just to save up some time. So let's start laying some army green on the side of our glider. And as you can see here, I'm not painting the head part yet. Because uh, you really don't have to do it yet. Uh, and you can just do it later when you're doing the shading on the mouth. There we go, nice and even. A little bit on the back as well. And the other side, same thing. Fucking airbrush fail. <laughs> there we go. I can match it. And the same stuff to this side as well. Like so. Just make sure that it's nice and even here. There. Next step on our project is to do a little bit of scale screw this net that you can see here. You might be wondering what the heck am I using to keep the net in place. Now these handy little things are called curtain clips. They're really handy and suit the purpose perfectly. So I'm now just painting a little bit of gold in here to get the, that nice scaling scaling pattern going on there. Like so make sure it's nice and even. And the other side. And let's see what we got here. I'm going to take these out. And here we go. Let's zoom in a little bit so that you can see. There we go. Another scale, scaly pattern going on. Now time to do with your plate. I've already pre-cut these pieces of paper that we're going to use as stencils. Now I just paint the gills with. It's always easy to start from the very first section, just behind where we will put the eyes later. And as you can see here, I'm going to leave this little gap between the first and the second gill plate. Gives a nice, nice effect. The next stage is pretty straightforward. We're just gonna use this mouth stencil to paint the mouth. With. And I'm using just black here. Just prefer it like that. You can use whatever color you want. Like so. Okay, it's time to do our bar pattern on the side of our gliding jerk face. Uh, note that you make sure that you align the stencil with the gills that we did earlier. Uh, you really don't want to fuck up there, trust me. Oh yeah, and by the way, I'm just using regular tape here to keep the big stencil in place. Uh, without that, it's going to be a real pain in the ass to keep it in one spot. But yeah, anyways, let's see what we have here. How pretty is that? Alrighty, um, the next thing in line is gonna be for us to do the fins. And uh, 
I've just cut out this uh, thin shape that is bigger stencil and I'm gonna use the smaller one to do the pin bones. Um, the basic idea to uh, use here is to use really low pressure on your airbrush or on your compressor. And um, I really must add that you really need to have a dual action airbrush to do this kind of stuff. We're almost done here. Let's do a little bit of shading in here to make the thing stand out more. Let me just take this off. And here you can see a nice pin. Okay. After a clear coat, this is how our jerk paint looks like. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And um, yeah, subscribe to my channel.